Hi there Aries, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 2nd of May. This week's big news stories, Mars, your ruler, has ended a square, a right angle to Neptune, which dominated last month, which caused confusion and certainly quite a lot of inertia. Great news. Venus has also just arrived in your sector of resources, so there's a very good chance that some money can come into your situation as soon as this week. The other big news story concerns Jupiter, which has been tracking backwards pretty well since the end of January. Well, that's going to come to an end just about as this week comes to a close, so you've got that to look forward to. But the other things that are really pivotal do actually involve Jupiter in both ways. Jupiter is the planet of growth, and although it is still in this retrograde, and for you, in your sector of work, health, diet and fitness, it is forging a magnificent link with the Sun and also uh, Pluto. This grand trine can help you to transform your situation around your professional interests. So don't be surprised if you take some bold steps this week, but they won't necessarily be ones that are airy-fairy. They can be ones that give you a tangible sense of achievement or reward. So really can be very positive. What's trickier, however, is that Jupiter is being opposed still by Neptune and squared by Saturn. And this T-square suggests that when it comes to expanding your situation, your expectations just need to come down a notch or two, I think. So the more realistic you are, and the more you can pile effort in and be upbeat, enthusiastic, hardworking, have a can-do attitude, the more other people can recognise your qualities. But if you expect it to all come on a plate, well, you could be a little bit disappointed. It's also going to be important to understand the politics in situations, because Neptune continuing in your 12th house suggests that there can be times when you feel a bit undermined by other people or undercurrents can just drag you down a little bit. But there is this overwhelmingly positive vibe, but it's earthed. That means it's real. And it is an opportunity for you to stay, take a step forwards with the things you've really beavered away at and are tangible. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.